Welcome back to DIY My Way. Well, I can't believe it, but I've had my Polaris Ranger EV for over a year now. And in case you're wondering, yes, I still love this thing. This thing has just been an awesome investment for us. But it's time to do some maintenance on it that you do yearly. And that's to change the drive fluids in the front and rear transmission. Like its gas-powered cousins, the Ranger EV has front and rear differentials for four-wheel drive. I'll start with the front end, so I'm going to remove the hood to make accessing the gear case easier. The hood hinges on two pins held with small hitch pins. First, I remove the hitch pins. With the hood resting against me, I remove the pins. Then I set the hood to the side, being careful not to pull on the headlight wiring harness. The fill plug on the front gear case is located here. and the drain plug is located on the bottom of the gear case. The plugs require a 5 16 inch Allen wrench. I have a full list of supplies and tools needed in the video description. The fill plug is fairly easy to loosen. Notice it has an O-ring. I slide an oil pan under the drain plug. Then remove the drain plug to let the old oil drain out completely. The drain plug also has an O-ring and it has a magnet as well to attract any metal shavings left over from manufacturing or created by wear. I wipe the shavings off with a paper towel hoping they're mainly left over from manufacturing. Now the drain plug can be reinstalled. and torque to 11 foot-pounds. I don't have a set of Allen sockets for my torque wrench, so I'll just tighten it up good and snug. Next, I position my gooseneck funnel into the fill hole. The front gear case uses Polaris Demand Drive Fluid, which you can get in a quart bottle. It doesn't require much fluid, just 5.1 ounces according to the manual. However, the online documentation says 6.1 ounces, and I found the 6.1 ounces to be correct based on when the fluid started spilling out of the fill hole. I poured in two ounces at a time. and a little more to get that extra 0.1 ounce. I reinstall the fill plug. It's supposed to be torqued to between eight and 10 foot pounds. Now I can reattach the hood.
The fill plug on the rear transaxle is located here. And unfortunately, the drain plug is located here on the side instead of the bottom. This means draining it will be messier. So I use a large shallow oil pan in addition to my regular oil pan as extra insurance. I loosen the fill plug but don't remove it to avoid a gusher from the drain plug. It's a little more awkward getting to these plugs. I use a piece of steel tubing for leverage on the drain plug. Finally, that one was on too tight. Once I have the drain plug off, I clean the metal shavings from the magnet, then reinstall the plug. The specified torque is 14 foot-pounds. The rear transaxle uses Polaris ATV angle drive fluid. Again, I place the gooseneck funnel in the fill hole. And pour in 20.3 ounces of angle drive fluid. Both the manual and online documentation agree on this amount, which is reassuring. The angle drive fluid is more viscous than the demand drive fluid, so I give it time to drain out of the cup and funnel. Now the fill plug can be reinstalled. Again, the specified torque is 14 foot-pounds. Well, that wasn't too hard, was it? I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click that like button, leave a comment, and by all means, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post new videos, click that little bell. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.